Craft is a text-based note-taking app that lets you create, style, organize, and share your notes with others. This three-part series will put the app through its paces to help you decide if this is an app you need for your digital workflow. Fantastic human? Hello. It's Ropsy, back with Paperless X. Craft is available for your iPhone, iPad, Mac, Windows, Vision Pro, and it also has a web version. Our review is going to be focusing on the macOS version of the app. Your notes sync across your devices, which is a must have when an app is available on multiple platforms. You can try the app for free, which is what we'll be doing in this review. But you can use it for $10 a month if you opt for monthly billing, which becomes $8 a month if you pay for a whole year. The family pricing is quite decent. It comes down to $3 a person, which is really good. The app also has a team and business package, so it's got everyone covered depending on your needs. Looking at this table comparing all the plans, you'll probably be forced to upgrade if you need more storage. One gigabyte is very small considering that all the other plans have unlimited storage. The expiring links and password protection when sharing could also be another compelling reason to subscribe. And exporting your notes also has some limitations that we'll encounter in this series, since we're trying the free version. Overall, it makes sense to first try the app for free and see if it becomes an indispensable tool in your workflow first before hopping on to the subscription. You can also try the app for 14 days to appreciate its full potential and we'll see at the end of this series if we're curious enough to try the app for 14 days to unlock these features. The app's homepage is beautiful. I love collapsible sidebars because they just give you more room to work with. Your folders are easy to navigate. You won't waste time looking for anything. Unless you hide the sidebar, then navigating through different items becomes a bit difficult, which is understandable. You have a second sidebar for working on your documents. That's usually a toolbar in most apps. It is a minimalist, beautiful user interface, and we love those, don't we? Creating new notes is fairly simple, but the app has a lot of templates to make that even easier. So I just went through a couple to see if I would find anything interesting. I like the online course template. We're working on several of those for Udemy, for our second YouTube channel, Paperless Humans, and for our website. My new document has been added from the template. I love that you can preview the templates before using them. It gives you a clear picture of what it does. You can also search through the templates. But to explore everything we can do in the app, Let's start on a clean slate. The moment I started taking notes, I realized that there are a few things I didn't like that I needed to change. I wanted my writing area a bit wider, which was easy to change. I also wanted to change the font size for all the documents in the app. And the developers have labeled this as zooming. It does what I wanted, so I shouldn't complain, right? And the zoom range is quite good. You can make your text really small or quite big. It took a while to get to because I wasn't really looking for a zoom feature, but once I found it, I was happy with it. 
especially because the shortcut is quite intuitive for macOS. You can organize your text with headings from H1 to H2, which the app labels, titles, subtitles, and headings. It doesn't matter what you call them, they work. Titles and headings look alike though. They are hard to tell apart, but H3 headings are much smaller. You can differentiate them using some color, for which you have a decent variety, but you can't use custom colors because the app doesn't let you do that. It seems to be a thing with these note-taking apps. They all limit your font and color options. It's not a problem if the options available are good. And Croft has a decent collection of colors. I love color coding my notes, so I fuss over colors a lot because different colors have different meanings in my head. I've been taking notes for a long time for all sorts of things. Color is a big part of that. You can also add paragraphs to your notes, obviously. Um, these can either be a body, caption, or strong. Those are the options you have in the app. Body looks normal, it's just text. Captions are more lightweight than body. I still don't get captions without diagrams. Those don't make sense to me, but I have to take them for what they are, I suppose. Seeing the concept is stuck now. Strong paragraphs, as the app labels them, are really just bold paragraphs. Considering that you already have text formatting options to make your text bold, italic, and strike out, there was probably no need to have the three different types of paragraphs, but the lightweight captions wouldn't be possible to use without them. That is because Craft doesn't have any phone options at all. Even the font types you get are limited, only four. The fourth font is not even that different from the first one. I was going to suggest that another way to make your heading stand out is to underline them. But the app doesn't have underline. And now I suddenly feel the urge to go and underline some headings. Can't shake it off. I feel a lot better having underlined some in Apple Notes. Just one of those things. Codes and blocks help make your information stand out. A code is usually indented, so I just went ahead and did that. Very easy to do. Blocks are highlighted paragraphs, and obviously some colors stand out more than others. You can also highlight smaller selections of your notes. But your font color applies to the whole paragraph. That is a huge limitation that makes it difficult to make information stand out. This is the first limitation that had me stop in my tracks. We should be able to change the font color of a few words in a paragraph. Even handwriting note-taking apps can do that. It's shocking that a text-based note-taking app would fail to do this. Does this mean I am better off with word processes? I really liked Craft until that font limitation. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in part two of this review.